As some of you may remember, I made a Valentine's Day video for a special someone about two years ago. <sighs> Unfortunately, she said no to being my Valentine. Aw, boo-hoo! Need a hug, little baby! It's all good though, because at least I tried. I just want you guys to know that it never hurts to ask, and it's okay to be rejected. Just dust yourself off and get back in the game. And settle it in Smash! I'm ready to ask another special lady to be my Valentine. Once again, I'm gonna need all your help to make sure she gets this message. Let's do this. Jessica Niggery, would you be my Valentine? We actually met at Kamikaze here in Los Angeles. I'm not sure if you remember, but you threw your VIP club bracelet right in my eye. It started tearing up really bad. Felt like a little bitch. First off, I'ma come pick you up in my 93 Honda Civic with a broken tail light. You might have to jump in through the window because I don't think the passenger side door opens anymore. Then I'ma take you to the most expensive place I know. The gas station! Just so you know, we're going Dutch on this date. I'ma need you to put $10 in on the gas tank. I know how much you love League of Legends, so I made reservations at a pretty popular place that has Wi-Fi. That way, we can eat dinner and play a little bit of League. The game's gotta go pretty quick though, because McDonald's only allows you to be on their Wi-Fi for like an hour at a time. We could try to steal some Wi-Fi from a hotel parking lot, but that's kinda ghetto. I'm trying to keep the date classy, girl. As for actual dinner, I wasn't really planning to buy any food. I was hoping you already ate. I guess if you must eat, you can get one item off the value menu. But if you're looking for a beverage, the water fountain's gonna be your best friend. Save a cup, save the environment. To show you that I only care about your personality and not your physical appearance, I have a custom made potato sack for you to wear for the whole day. To be honest though, I don't even think you're as hot as everyone says you are. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're a pretty girl and all. I'll give you that much. Truth skill points plus four. See, how many guys would actually tell you that? That's what makes me different. Back to the date. I'm gonna give you a big old case of bottled water for all them boys on your fan page that stay thirsty. <coughs> I'm just so parched. But then again, after thinking about it more, you already have a nice set of jugs. I mean, you would have to, right? Living in Arizona and all, you would have to have a nice set of jugs to keep all that water in so you don't dehydrate. I really believe in giving personalized gifts, so I made a card out of construction paper. I gotta be honest though, I originally made this card for somebody else. That's Blue Rose from Tiger and Bunny. But Jessica, don't worry. I'll make sure I'll cross her name out before I give you this card and put your name there instead. So Miss Niggery, please. Let me know what time to come pick you up. Oh, but don't forget about that gas money though. But Jessica Niggery, would you be my Valentine? If I can ask Jessica Niggery in front of the whole world to be my Valentine, then you can definitely ask that guy or girl in your anime club to be yours. The worst they could say is no. Rejection is okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Get that old rod and catch you a magic carp. Wait. Get that old rod and catch you a Starmie. Catch you a Goldeen? Horsey? Gyarados. Yeah. Catch you a Gyarados. I'm Fanservice Renji. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Valentine's Day.